this is 6.2.2.3 we're going to show you that x omega the dtft of the aperiodic sequence is periodic with 2 pi period what this means is that if we have calculated x omega from 0 to 2 pi it's going to repeat from 2 pi to 4 pi and minus 2 pi to 0 or if you have con computed minus pi to pi it's going to repeat from pi to 3 pi and so on so this is the periodic nature of x omega in this equation of synthesis where we have x omega and we want to reconstruct xn this is the equation 1 over 2 pi integrating from 0 to 2 pi in fact we should actually have just said that this is 2 pi periodic and we can take from any 2 pi version of this x omega and this equation to reconstruct xn will still be valid now why is this so so let us now examine the equation for the analysis and then we will plug in different value of omega and we'll see that actually when x omega plus 2 pi it will be the same as x omega to claim to prove the claim that x omega is 2 pi periodic so this is the equation for the analysis we can take from n equals to minus infinity to infinity of this aperiodic sequence and we begin to plug in different omega now let's plug in x omega plus 2 pi so and we'll see what happened so we we move the omega to become omega plus 2 pi and then of course we can break this exponential into two parts e minus j omega n and e minus j 2 pi times n and remember that n is an integer so e minus j 2 pi times any integer times 1 times 2 times 3 will result in the real value 1 and hence this goes to this disappear and we are left with the original equation here and isn't this x of omega and therefore it proves that x of omega equals to x of omega plus 2 pi thank you